Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's team of the week predictions. It has been one of those weeks, one of them weeks where it's just incredibly hard to predict what's going to happen in this week's team of the week. There are plenty of candidates to talk about and we will speak about them in a moment in the potential informs and just from one game alone there are several candidates. Real Madrid won 10-2 this week, that's right 10 goals in one game alone from Real Madrid absolutely incredible so as you can probably imagine there are a lot of players from that Real Madrid team that could be in this week's team of the week. Anyway I have rambled on for long enough in the comments below you know what to do let me know who you think will be in this week's team of the week and of course if you'd leave like on the video as always that would be very much appreciated. Let's get into the potential informs. Stop seriously stop I know half of you right now are in the comments getting very angry at me typing Kieran how the hell can you not include Benzema in your predictions. First of all I do think he has a very high chance of getting into this week's team of the week however I have gone for a different pick, I've gone for Bale and someone else who we'll talk about very soon. Now one of the reasons I didn't go for Benzema was because one, he's already gotten in form and two, that in form was very recent, I think it was like two or three weeks ago, however that's not me saying he won't get an in form, he's got a very high chance and I would not be surprised to see EA put a second in form Benzema in this week's team of the week. So please calm down, don't get mad at me, we could even see 3 or 4 Real Madrid players in this week's team of the week, as I said they won 10-2, pretty crazy, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Since I spoke about Benzema so much, I'm not going to cover the other potential informs, they all have a pretty good chance but haven't quite made it into my team of the week predictions, Dembele on the end plays for Barnet, I don't know why his club icon hasn't appeared, but um, yeah, let's just get on to my predictions. Okay then guys, let's get into my team of the week predictions. We start off with Stefan Ruffier, who made a few saves, kept clean sheet, and I won't lie to you, I struggled to pick a gold goalkeeper this week. I definitely think there'll be a gold goalkeeper in net, and Ruffier was one of the few options, so I thought, you know what, let's go for him. Moving on now to a player that I'm pretty sure should be in this week's team of the week, that is Alessandro Florenzi of Roma. This guy got himself a goal and kept clean sheet in Roma's 2-0 win. Yes, I did almost mess that up. I almost said 2-1, but I got it right. Next up is this guy, Arribas from La Liga. He got himself a goal in a 2-0 win for his side, Deportivo. And the final defender in my starting eleven is a guy called Federico Benadeski. I think I got that right. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. This guy grabbed himself two assists in a 2-0 win for Fiorentina. And now we come on to the first Real Madrid player in my team. Now stop what you're doing. I know you're in the comments section typing, Kieran, what about Benzema? Benzema, Benzema. I've already spoken about Benzema. He's already got an inform. He could definitely be in this week's team of the week. But I'm going to go for James Rodriguez instead. He got three assists in that 10-2 win for Real Madrid. Don't get me wrong, Benzema could definitely get it. He really could. But because he's already got an inform and James Rodriguez doesn't, I think we might get an inform Rodriguez in this week's team of the week. And if not, then I'm just wrong. So, yeah. Another La Liga player now, Denis Suarez, who scored twice in a 2-0 win for his side, Villarreal. And then we come on to what will be the star of the team of the week. The guy who has to get an inform this week, inform Gareth Bale. He only scored four goals, just, just you know, the casual four goals and also got an assist. So, um, yeah, definitely going to be seeing an inform bill in this week's team of the week. The card is going to be incredible and I'd love to try it, but, um, yeah, this card's going to be expensive. Probably not going to be able to afford it, but uh, definitely, if I can get my hands on it, I'm pretty sure it will be awesome. Just look at those attributes and the actual card that it gets will probably be a bit better than that. Next up is another awesome looking winger and we're moving over to the Serie A in Italy and we have Candreva who scored twice in a 2-1 win for Lazio. This in form will be incredible if it happens. Candreva's cards in FIFA are always awesome because he's got great shooting for a winger. So um, yeah, fingers crossed on this one. Moving on to my first BPL pick in this week's Team of the Week predictions. We have a second in form, Mesut Ozil. Now he grabbed himself two assists in a 2-1 win for Arsenal over Manchester City. Pretty big win that. And um, yeah, Ozil, he just cannot stop assisting right now. It is incredible. He's an awesome passer and this in form should be awesome if he does indeed get it. Moving over to Germany now and we have Lars Stindl who got a goal and an assist in a 3-2 win for his side. And then the final player in my starting 11 is Mario Mandzukic who got two goals in a 3-2 win for Juventus. On to the bench now and we have Paul Benadoni who saved the penalty and kept clean sheet in a 0-0 draw for his team. 
Onto a silver, and I'm a bit unsure how to pronounce his last name. I think it might be Wojtens or something like that. We'll just call him Dries for now. He managed to get himself two goals in a free to win. Two goals for a centre back. That is pretty awesome. Could definitely be in this week's team of the week. Dennis Pryor or Dennis Pryet. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it once again. Um, he got two goals in a 4 1 win for Anderlecht. Pretty awesome card. I think he's got a five star weak foot. So um, could be a nice cheap inform. Have to wait and see. Does get a very nice perfect link with Tillemans. Or Tillemans. Yeah. I, oh my god. Names. I'm terrible at names. Thomas Ince of Derby grabbed himself a hat trick. So um, yeah. This card could be freaking incredible. It looks awesome for a silver. As you can see, he's a cam 2. Originally in FIFA, he's a winger. So this inform would be very nice if it does indeed happen. Mohamed Larvi, another League 1 candidate this week, grabbed himself two goals in a 2-1 win for his team. On to another BPL player, we have Jerome. Now, if you haven't used Jerome's non-inform, pick it up and try it out. It is incredibly overpowered in this year's FIFA. So this inform, if it does happen, should be incredible. Should be pretty cheap as well. He grabbed himself a goal and an assist in Norwich's 2-1 win over Manchester United. We could be seeing a second inform Jonas in this week's Team of the Week. He got two goals and an assist in a 3-1 win for Benfica. Kane Hemmings grabbed himself a hat-trick for his side Dundee. And Jose Sosa grabbed two goals in a 3-2 win for Besiktas, one of which was a 90th minute winner. So um, yeah, GG should definitely be in this week's Team of the Week, in my opinion. Daniel DVD, what a name that is. That is an absolutely fantastic name. He got two goals in a 3-1 win for his team. And um, yeah, doesn't look like too bad of a card either. Rashika of the Eredivisie is up next. He got two goals and an assist in a 5-1 win for his side. Looks like a pretty interesting silver too. Obviously, got to love that pace. And 70 shooting on a silver, not too bad at all. And the final player in my predictions is Igalo. In my opinion, he has deserved an inform for quite a while now. He has been fantastic for Watford this season. He got two goals in a 3-0 win for Watford over Liverpool. And um, yeah, got to get an inform in my opinion this week. Hopefully does because he definitely deserves it. So guys, this is my prediction for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know I'm going to get plenty of comments for my inclusion of James Rodriguez and me choosing not to include Karim Benzema. However, I saw loads of people predicting Benzema, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to be different. I'm going to pick James Rodriguez. And who knows, maybe EA will throw in three Real Madrid players. 10-2 is a big scoreline to win by, so you never know, EA might throw in a bunch of Real Madrid players into this week's Team of the Week. Nevertheless, as I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Your support is very much appreciated. And um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Have a good day. Adios.